Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video that I've been putting off for the best part of, I would say this whole month, if I'm honest. There are a lot of clothes that I have to show you. I picked up some lovely spring summer pieces from H&M and from Mango. I thought we'd do a little H&M versus Mango. Mango already gets minus points for having the world's most annoying box to do a thumbnail with. I struggled. I've done a video a bit like this previously where it was Zara versus Mango and went through like the whole shebang, like websites, how I find them, the kind of rated them, that kind of thing. H&M and Mango, I hate both of their websites. I rarely find anything that I want in stock. This is a real rarity, which is why I decided to do this video. Mango also has a limit on items and an amount you can spend. So don't love that. Basically, I love their clothes, but everything else I could take or leave. So I'm ordering an overall winner at the end, whichever brand had the most banging outfits, they will be the winner. Yeah, let's get stuck into it. I'm going to start with H&M first, partly because I can actually lift this box. So I'm going to start with the item that I'm the most excited about, which is one of the dresses from their like floral spring collection. It's so cute. This is like a maxi dress, so this could be way too long on me, but I just love this collection. I think the floral print is so beautiful, so different to anything you'd find anywhere else, really timeless. It's so pretty. It's really delicate, very Zimmerman vibes, which I think everyone can get on board with because Zimmerman is the most beautiful brand, but also very expensive. So I'm hoping that this fits me. If it doesn't, I will be quite sad. It does have adjustable straps, so cross your fingers for me. I picked this up in a size small, so we will see. I get on with this I have the like little top and short set in the same print which I love but I just love a floaty like midi maxi dress so I thought this one would be a great one to add into my wardrobe but we'll see you guys I'm obsessed with this this is so cute I actually think I could see myself keeping this in my wardrobe for years and years and years it's so pretty and so comfortable like there is no like tightness to this at all it literally just falls loose so nice so comfy and it feels lovely as well i can't remember if these dresses were like a linen blend or not but they feel almost like slightly linen-y just very soft really nice to wear this would just be one of those real gems to have in my wardrobe and i love the fact that it's a floral but it's predominantly like white and neutral and i just don't think it's a dress that i would get bored of very quickly and i love this style of dress for summer i have i think one in white i just love how big and floaty they are and they are so comfy so this one gets a 10 out of 10 for me i'm so happy with it it would also look really cute with my yellow bicell sac du jour and a pair of shoes that are coming up later in this video for anyone that is new here i am five foot two just for reference when you see the try-ons and i generally range at the moment from like a size extra small small roughly a uk size eight i'm not sure what that is in the us i always forget oh i love this so we have the cutest linen jumpsuit. Oh my goodness, I really like this. The tone of linen is so beautiful. It's a real like creamy linen, which I really like. Some linens can come off a bit gray, but this is a really light creamy linen and it feels so soft. It's got these gorgeous little tortoiseshell buttons, but they're a really light tan and kind of like creamy toned tortoiseshell, which is really pretty. No adjustable straps, so we'll see how I get on. My chest area is quite small, like the bit between my neck and like my actual cleavage is really, really short. So I always find like straps everything kind of sits a bit lower than it should. So yeah, we'll see. It has a tie waist, which is great. And we'll see how the leg length is. It is a wide leg. However, this with a bit of like hemming tape, aka Wonder Web, would be very easy to take up. So length I'm not so fussed about, but we'll see how the top half fits. This one definitely needs a little bit of steam, but it is so lovely. I'm obsessed. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I really thought by the elasticated waist that this would be one of those tops that maybe sits a little bit stiffer and kind of like puffs out here and leaves you looking a bit boxy around your top half but it just like naturally folded over when I hadn't tied the tie waist but once the tie waist is tied it kind of just sat a little bit more flat and I think it's really flattering on my figure. I really like the way the legs kick out when I walk. These are a perfect length for me so i know they're meant to be more cropped the taller that you are but if you're five foot two i think these are going to be a great one for you also it fits really well across the chest as well which was so unexpected i thought it was going to be like down here and the straps were going to be super long but it actually fits really nicely because the material is so soft it just kind of folds over as you can see there is a little bit more excess because of the longer straps but it just falls really nicely and i'm so happy with that I just paired it with my and other stories sandals 
and oh it has pockets as well i'm so happy with it it's just a really lovely easy casual piece for me to wear now that the weather is warming up as i'm filming this we're about to go into a week of like the late teens of like temperature and i'm so so excited for that just really happy to finally be able to get some wear out of my spring summer pieces a little bit more not be caught in like freak rain showers and gale force winds you know and i think this would be one of those really lovely pieces to wear once the weather starts getting a bit warmer Ooh, i'm really excited about these so these are like a straight leg very light jean with an elasticated back hello why are all jeans not made like that that would solve so many issues in our lives so these are 17.99 and i got them in a uk eight they are a very like light weight denim it feels very very thin but Kind of great for summer yeah more of a straight leg i'm really interested to see how these fit but they look cute they look really cute so these are the stone colored jeans i actually really like these they're a very nice kind of modern update on a white jean which i have been trying on a few recently and just been really struggling with i really love how thin and lightweight these are i think it gives the jeans a much nicer like drop and the way they fall and sit is very different to a very traditional pair of like stiff white jeans yeah i love these they feel so great i love the texture of them and the color is just so beautiful and really unique as well for 18 pound i think you really can't go wrong with these i'm so happy with them i think they work really nicely with the striped top from H&M as well. Then we have the linen jumpsuit but in black. I think this is really cute. This is going to be an absolute wardrobe staple. Let's hope that it fits well on my chest. I mean you will already know because you guys will have seen me in the future. So this is the black jumpsuit and interestingly I picked this one up in a size extra small and I can't remember if that's because I wanted to try it in an extra small or due to stock levels. I would say the extra small definitely fits more snug. It fits so much better on the straps and the back as you can probably tell. It's a fraction shorter on the length but nothing massively noticeable to be honest. And I actually think having this slightly more fitted in the black works really well to be honest because this is probably something that I'd wear when I want to feel a little bit more pulled together and a little bit more chic and I think the fact that it's not as slouchy as the linen one actually works quite well for the vibe that I would probably go for. However, I did love how like loose and super comfortable the linen one felt in the size small so kind of torn between it looking like it fits well and being really chic but also being like so comfortable let me know your thoughts do you prefer the linen in the size small do you prefer the black in the extra small should i get this in a size small let me know your thoughts and then we have these gorgeous linen trousers i love a linen trouser i think they will work so nicely with this top which by the way is also from h&m also from this order it was on the top of the box when i opened it and i couldn't wait to wear it it's really cute i think this would look really cute with this top again this could be an okay one to potentially take up so i'm not too worried about the length and it's got a nice elasticated waist i got this in a size small i think they're gonna fit i think it's gonna fit well just like putting it to my waist i think it'll be okay so i really like the linen trousers i do think that i could have gone for an extra small in hindsight however I do remember when I was shopping on H&M that a lot of things weren't available in like all sizes. So fingers crossed there's actually something left when it comes to this video going live. That might be the reason that I didn't go for the extra small. However, it does leave me plenty of room to tuck in my knitted vest tops, which some of you will remember from last summer. These were from H&M and I love them. They are by far one of my favourite pieces in my summer wardrobe. If you're looking for something similar, our care actually have a really similar top, but it's not knitted, but the shape is almost exactly identical. Cool. so if you're looking for the same like silhouette and cut i would definitely head over there i'll link the tops in the description box but anyway so i've just tucked the top in and these tops are fairly thick for a vest top so they're definitely filling out the little bit of extra space i've got with the elasticated waist in terms of the length i think the length is really good and if you wanted like more of a full length you know you could wear them lower down but yeah i'm really happy with them i'm also wearing them with my and other story sandals they're definitely one of those pieces that i would keep for a really long time as well i can see me wearing these on holiday with a swimming costume underneath i think that would look really lovely so I'm very happy with these i would love to know what you think do you love them do you hate them because i think the silhouette of these might divide a few of you so i'm really interested to hear your thoughts and then i have what i would say is the same pair in black but it feels very different like a much more rough like stiff linen-y texture but i thought these would be such a brilliant wardrobe staple 
throughout the spring summer that the UK seems to be having at the moment which is such a non summer so far. Last year I had already bought so many dresses and got so so excited for the warm weather whereas this year I'm kind of going with the basics prepping for more of a cooler more mild summer so lots of lovely lightweight trousers i think are going to be a go-to for me i actually also have a real basics order coming up h&m actually restocked a load of like really lovely t-shirts and things like that which i thought would be great basics for summer so i will do a whole separate video on that but i was very excited to get my hands on the linen trousers so i love the black pair i think if i were to keep one pair out of the two sets of linen trousers i would keep these i think they're so chic they would be so tiny in my wardrobe I'll get so much wear out of them they work really nicely with a top like this and it kind of makes it look all like a bit of a one piece from far these are also in a size small however I would say they run a fraction smaller when I was putting them on over my hips they were a little bit tighter than the kind of linen pair but I think that's due to the black dye it generally tends to kind of shrink the garment a little bit and I would say the length of these is ever so slightly shorter as well and that is also probably because of the black dye but other than that love them I'm very very happy with them what do we think do I keep, do I return? I'm thinking I keep them. Do I keep both though? And then I also have this dress, which I have from last year in the blue and white, really gorgeous print. Still waiting for them to bring this back in the lemon print because that was my dream. And sadly I picked it up in the wrong size. I picked it up in a size 10, which isn't the wrong size, but it was too big for me. So by the time I went to get the eight, it was out of stock. That print, although it's a classic, is very bold. So I am very excited to have added just the plain, white version of the H&M dress into my wardrobe because I know I'll get so much wear out of this. I got this in a size 8 which is the size that I have my blue and white one in so hopefully it will fit really beautifully and it also has the stretch on the back which I love. I honestly just think all clothing should come with a stretchy section on the back to allow for some kind of fluctuation. I just love that. So the white dress is really cute. I would highly recommend adding this to your summer wardrobe. If you love a midi dress, this is one of those pieces that you will keep forever. However, if I'm gonna be really pernickety about this dress, and I love this, bear in mind. If I'm gonna be really pernickety, the neckline just doesn't line up. It's almost like all of the buttons are like slightly unaligned and stitched a little bit. Wrong, can you see that? It's like the button just needs to be a bit lower on this bit, maybe I could fix that. But yeah, annoyingly, this on my other dress is like a seamless, match up. Me being really pernickety, I don't think you've noticed from afar, but I know there are a lot of people out there that are real stickers for things like that, so I thought I would mention it. I don't know if it's like that on all of the dresses or if this is just a slight anomaly. Other than that and it needing a little bit of a steam, it is the perfect summer dress, so timeless. Definitely one of those pieces that you would keep in your wardrobe for a really long time. And then we have a linen tone blazer in an extra small, but sadly there is like some brown speckles on this which i don't think are meant to be there it looks like tea has been splashed on this so uh this maybe will not be the one for me but i will try it on anyway i've basically been looking for like a lovely white blazer for the summer i've seen a few different ways that people have styled them up and i really like to give it a go i think it could be such a lovely piece to have in my wardrobe during the warmer months but we'll see how it fits all right you guys what do we think of the white blazer i'm i'm not sold and i can't put my finger on why is it me is it the outfit? Is it the blazer? I don't know. Is it the fact that it came with a tea stain on it and now it's just like ruined it for me? I'm really not sure. I'd love to know what you think in the comments and how you would style a white blazer, help a girl out. Like how would you make this work? Do you have a white blazer and do you have an outfit that you love wearing it with? For this outfit, I've just paired it with the H&M striped top. And then I've got my Zara mom jeans on and my And Other Stories sandals. I've gone for a relaxed vibe because this is a linen blazer. So I think it works really nicely paired with more relaxed items. It could maybe work better with say like a midi, a ribbed like bodycon midi dress maybe though that doesn't always feel a bit work wear ish to me but i do think blazers pair really beautifully with midi dresses or do i just style it out with plain like black leggings and a pair of trainers because that could also be really cute and then we have this little summery dress which i'm really questioning myself on now i just don't know if this is gonna be the perfect one for me i don't know from afar this looks like such a beautiful neutral tone but when you get further up it's like a sandy color with a stripe which i think is really cute i'm just not sure if the silhouette of this is going to be particularly flattering on me however it could be such a nice one for when it's warm and i just want to wear something big and floaty but i also know you guys will love this because i can tell by my analytics that we are all a part of the oversized clothes fan club so yeah let me know what you think of this i just love the tone of it i think it's really beautiful and i think it will look really nice with my hair like when it's in a low bun a pair of sunnies nice pair of sandals it is very long though so we will see 
what the length is like on me. This dress I actually really like. I love how simple the neckline is and the whole cut of the dress. I think it's really beautiful, really simple, very minimal. It's really comfortable and floaty. It would be one of those perfect pieces for like a warm summer's day or eventually at some point in the distant future <laughs> when I'm able to go somewhere on a plane somewhere warm can you tell what i'm really craving right now this would be the perfect piece for any kind of warm weather but when you want to be like a little bit covered up as well i love the sleeves on this they just kind of sit really nicely i like that they've got a bit of a would you call this a bell sleeve or a puff sleeve i'm not sure but i really like the way they sit and i love how simple the neckline is combined with the really delicate little stripes on the dress i think it's gorgeous and then we've got this detailing across the skirt and i think that's really beautiful as well so yeah i'm really happy with this it's just super simple and i feel really great in it what do you guys think and then finally i've been very excited for this piece this is so beautiful i love this tone of blue real like what would you call this like there was a color blue that someone said i had a dress in a blue that was similar to this last year and there was a really beautiful name for that blue i can't remember what it is it's almost like palmer violety kind of vibe so beautiful so this is a jumpsuit it just has a really simple kind of v-cut high waist and then like clot legs so like they're not meant to be full length i thought i'd give it a go even though i am quite vertically challenged just because sometimes these kind of legs just end up being a full-on wide leg on me and a full length one so it's not always the end of the world however this could be an awkward length one if it's cut a bit too short we'll see it has a zip back which is really nice it feels really beautiful so i got this in a size eight and we'll see what it looks like on so this blue jumpsuit i would say if you can still get your hands on this would be such a beautiful item to have in your wardrobe especially for things like weddings i think this would actually be one of those really lovely jumpsuits that will work really well as a wedding guest outfit i think it's such a beautiful color if it's had a steam it's going to look way more expensive than it actually is it's that beautiful like satiny kind of silky type material it's got a lovely tie waist and i think it's going to work on a lot of different heights for me it's obviously more of a full length leg whereas if you're taller it would be a little bit more of a cropped lot style which is also so cool i wish i could wear stuff like that but it normally arrives and it is never a cool culotte style it's normally full length it has pockets it's really cute i think it works nicely with flats as well as with heels so depending on your preferences i think it's super versatile it's just so beautiful it is a little bit gapy on the back just because i like i said have a short chest so the straps always just need to be a little bit shorter than they usually are but outside of wedding guest dress attire i think this would work so wonderfully throughout our spring at summer wardrobes it's one of those pieces that you can really dress up with a pair of heels and lots of jewelry or you can really casual it down pair it with flats and a jacket i just think it's one of those really lovely versatile pieces i would love this in more colors maybe like a neutral and a black that would be perfect now i've got a bone to pick with some of you lot because you all dm'd me saying mango have home stuff mango have home stuff which is lovely of you however I went on to the Mango website for the home stuff, bought zero home items and ended up buying so much stuff. There were lots of cute jumpsuits. Actually, there's also a trench coat as well, which I've taken out of this order already. I've been wearing it for a few weeks now. I don't know if you will have seen it in my what I wore in a week. If you're new here, you won't know they're a staple part of my channel. I love doing those videos. So if you want to see the items that I keep from my hauls styled up in various different ways, those are probably the best videos to watch. So make sure you subscribe and watch those. I bought a trench coat. I wore insert a try on of it now i love it it's so beautiful but yeah apart from that there were lots of jumpsuits that i like there's a bit of denim in here so i'm just gonna get stuck in because we've got a lot to get through i'm actually gonna start with this because i was really excited for this bag i think it's so cute very like the row olsen twins lots of you will know i have had a thing about bags in this like shape and style for a good like three years now the whole time been saying like it reminds me of therefore as prada olsen twins and i think it is actually the row that are like inspiring this kind of slouchy bag trend but yeah i love this i'm really obsessed with it i think it's gonna look so cool with so many of my summer outfits i see myself wearing a lot of black this summer especially if we're having a more mild summer i love an all black outfit lots of people know oh these are so cute so some of you will know i love my yellow saint laurent sac de jour and I just thought these would go perfectly with them. They are so, so cute. I actually think they work really nicely. Like the yellow would work really nicely with this striped top in an outfit. But yeah, they're these lovely woven sandals in the gorgeous kind of golden yellow. So beautiful. Very excited to try those on. I'll try those on with an outfit from this. Okay, so we've got this lovely jumpsuit in this black pleated material with like a tie waist very very long on the legs it's got a v-neck and what seems like a lovely like twisty 
kind of detail at the back. I really don't feel like I'm doing this any justice by holding it up. So I'm gonna crack on and try it on, but I got this in an extra small. So we're not getting off to the best start. Such a shame that this one is only just slightly too long. Also a little bit dressier than I kind of anticipated it being as well. Maybe that's just my memory of when I was going through purchasing items. But I don't love it as much as I thought I would. Also the fact that it is a little bit longer than I would like does make me quite sad because it makes it, I think, a little bit more dressy if this was more of a cropped culotte style. This is one of those items that would be so ideal from everything for like holidays, events, nights out, any kind of evening situation where it's warm. This would just be so gorgeous. I think they also did this in a brown as well. I'm not sure if they still do it, but that one definitely lends itself to being a little bit more casual as well because of the colour. I just wasn't sold on the brown, but now I'm not going to lie, I kind of regret that because I think this would have been so cool in the brown tone. We then have this little play suit, which I picked up in a size small. It has a slightly longer sleeve. However, if it will be too boxy on me remains to be seen. I think it will be okay. It has a tie waist, which I love, and then goes into a little short. The tie waist is like a little rope. I think this could be a winner, you know? It could be a winner. This one is really cute. I was actually being very unsure on this when I unboxed it. However, I think it looks so cute on. I really love this neutral tone. I actually like the rope tie waist, which at first I was a bit like, mm, just not sure. It doesn't feel like that like premium and nice. It's feeling a little bit on the fence about it, but I do think it fits so beautifully. I really like the neckline. I like that the buttons don't come up too high. There's one button at the top, but you can take it or leave it. And I love the poppers on this, they are so cool and so minimal. I don't know if you can tell. They're so cool and really, they make a really satisfying snap as well. But yeah, I really like this. I like the neutral tone of it as well. It's got that nice like brownie tone to it, which could also be slightly like I'm on safari, but it's just a little bit more neutral and it kind of avoids that vibe. Yeah, what do we think? My only reservation is that because it has shorts on the bottom, it's not as versatile as the longer jumpsuits from both retailers. So yeah, this item I am, um, not sure on, but I would love your thoughts. I just think the neutral tone is so pretty. I'm a real sucker for a brownie neutral tone. Oh, this is so nice. I remember this being one of the items that I was particularly excited to purchase. It's a long jumpsuit. It's black, like shirt material, just really simple and a really chic item for summer. It's got a nice tie waist and it's buttoned down, longer sleeves, like a three quarter length, I would say. I think this could be it for me, you know. This could be a real forever piece in my wardrobe. I got it in a size small and I'm not too worried about the sizing and it being too big because it has the tie waist. So yeah, I'm excited. And I think the leg length on this as well would be fine to take up. So not too worried on the length either. So I actually really love this, which is great because I was slightly concerned for my mango order up until now. I was like, mm, is there anything that I am really, really loving? But this, as I suspected, is something that I think I will keep in my wardrobe for such a long time. It's a real classic. I'm actually really happy with the leg length on it. It looks really cool with my sandals, but I think it would look equally amazing with a pair of heels as well. It could look really nice with the yellow sandals that I picked up and my yellow YSL bag as well could look very cute I also think it would look really great with this bag potentially very like the row vibes I don't know if that's too cool for me but I really like it it's still very minimal I like the all black I like the mixture of the slouchy bag texture with the very structured jumpsuit as well the whole outfit is obviously very minimal in its cut even down to the end of the story sandals they're very minimal but the bag just helps to add a little bit of shape and softness to the outfit as well as a little bit of texture as well and i really like that it's also such a big bag this is great i'm gonna have such a good time with this bag i feel like this outfit could potentially divide people but let me show you it with the yellow accessories because some of you might think it looks cute and some of you might think I look like a bumblebee and I'm okay with that one. Okay, just to show you the all black with a pop of colour, I do still have a tag on the shoe because I'm still deciding. They're a little bit tight but I think they might loosen up as I wear them. But yeah, I just wanted to show you what this could look like if you wanted to inject a little bit of colour into this outfit. The shoes in the bag almost match perfectly, which I'm really happy about. However, the shoes are slightly brighter but I do think that will lessen up over time as I've worn them. Yeah, I kind of rate the colour but if I'm honest, I prefer the all black, which will probably come as a shock to zero of you. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. We've got this really beautiful blue maxi dress. Oh, it's so pretty. I mostly wear neutrals for those of you that maybe you're new here who don't know. I love neutrals, but I count 
blue as a bit of a neutral. Like I love denim and I love a blue during the summer. Mixed with white, I just think it's such a lovely summery combo. It's almost tiered and it's got a few bows, but it's just minimal enough, I think, to work for me and my preferences. I picked this up in a size small. It's made of recycled polyester. Cute. And I think these bows are cute because they actually can pull you in at the waist, which is amazing, but you can also like have it flowing really loose as well, which is lovely. Yeah, really beautiful colour. I hope it's okay on the length. This dress is so pretty. I love a blue and this dress is no exception. I feel so cute in this. I think this would be a really beautiful wedding guest dress as well. This is very, I wish I would had this in time for my wedding guest dress video, which I will link if you haven't seen it because I believe that's gone up. That was the last video before this one. This is so lovely and such an affordable one as well. It's really lovely and long. And if you're five foot two or up, it's gonna be such a perfect length. Even if you're shorter than that and you wanna wear a heel, I think this dress would just be so great for so many and it just feels so nice it's like that perfect not too tent like and not too floaty but it's floaty enough that i feel like i could eat a three course meal and not have anyone notice definitely needs a steam like i said earlier but it's so beautiful so comfortable so floaty i'm very happy with this one and then we have the black jumpsuit but in the khaki or khaki this one i'm not loving so much but we will see this i love an olivey tone i just always find that when they're in my wardrobe they're never as timeless as like my blacks whites or blues so this might be one that goes back but i just wanted to see i can't decide if i look cool or if i look like i'm meant to be on the safari can someone let me know please what do you guys think i do think that the lighter color definitely shows creasing way more which obviously doesn't make it look as expensive and also the way this material catches the light at some points it just it doesn't have a sheen but it almost looks like it has a sheen just because it's like a lighter color and you can actually see some shadowing which then makes it look a little bit less expensive as well i personally am team black jumpsuit all the way but i would love to hear your thoughts i don't know it is cute I think it works really nicely as well with like gold jewelry and then we also have the blue dress but in the khaki khaki which i actually love this i love i think the darker tone of it works really beautifully you can tell i was having real decision fatigue when making my order because <laughs> i just have doubles of everything basically couldn't make a decision so we can all make the decisions together let me know which ones you prefer out of the duplicates this is a really gorgeous tone though the blue is definitely more summery whereas this i think i could get away with um, um, more into autumn if we have like a warm autumn or we have like parties or kind of like autumn weddings that kind of vibe this could be really beautiful if it like fits well and stuff i also think it just looks a little bit more expensive because of the color of it so that's kind of drawing me more to this one at the moment but we'll see they could both look awful on. so i'm kind of shocked by this one but i think i love this dress more than the blue one that is really so rare for me to love a green more than i love a blue but i just think this one looks so chic the color is a little bit more rare and i just really love that i think it pairs itself really nicely with black accessories as well and also with gold jewelry too i think the tones just work really beautifully together also i think it works really nicely with the black mango bag. By the way, if I'm squinting, it's because it just got really bright outside and my eyes are not very good at adjusting. But yeah, I think it works really beautifully with the black bag as well. I really like black accessories with khaki. I think it just looks so chic. Again, definitely needs a steam, but we are still in the decision process. So I don't steam anything until it is like definitely going in my wardrobe. Yeah, I really like this one. What do you think? Green or blue? Let me know. And then we have some cropped black jeans. The flies aren't done up, that's so weird. I got these in, in a size 36 and they've marked these as like slouchy. So I think they're gonna be maybe a little bit oversized. Wow, this button does not wanna do up. No wonder it didn't come buttoned up. It's got stretch at the back, which I love. Yeah, I'm intrigued to see how these fit. Lots of you have been asking me to try out mango denim. So let's see. So mango jeans. What do we think? I'm really on the fence about these. Though I do think these could be super versatile in my wardrobe, I'm really questioning how much I would actually reach for them. I think I'd predominantly wear them with a black vest top like this one from H&M. And whilst I think this does look very cool with the sliders and the top, I'm just questioning how much I would reach for a pair of jeans like this during, say, the winter time or autumn. I'm just not convinced that I would get the wear out of them. I think these are fab for summer because I would wear them with trainers, sliders, all of my kind of spring summer footwear. They'd be absolutely amazing. They'd look really cool under, say, a trench coat, for example, as well. However, during the winter, I'm just not convinced I would get the wear out of them. And autumn, winter, I would say, is generally the time 
time when I get the most wear out of my jeans. Maybe spring as well, but I could only really see these being worn in spring and I just don't know if they are the pair for me, if that is the only time I could see myself wearing them, if that makes sense. I think with Mango in terms of denim, I know a lot of you wanted my review on Mango denim. Mango denim feels just a little bit too cool for me. Like I wish I was that cool, but I'm just not convinced that I am. However, I would love to hear your thoughts. I did also look at another pair of jeans from them that were like a wide leg, but they were so long, ridiculously long. And I think that is what I generally struggle with, whether it's Zara jeans or Mango jeans, I generally find their denim to run quite long, unless it's a mom jean, even then, I roll it up. I've actually had to roll these up once. I'd say in terms of leg length, if you are shorter, H&M is a much better bet, and other stories is a much better bet. But so far from what I've seen, I think Mango has been the worst in terms of how long the leg length of everything is, especially because I don't know if you'll be able to see, but these actually say slouchy cropped high waist. That is a joke. That is an absolute joke because when these are like unrolled, they are so long. But anyway, let me know what you think of the jeans styled like this. Do I keep, do I return? I also picked up this, which I'm really questioning myself on now. A lot of you have been sending me links to neutral items that you think I'd love that have like a polo neck top. And I'm not sure, but I thought I would give it a go. I think I generally wear it like un buttons because it's a little bit more relaxed so kind of like this this is really like light it's like a very loose fine knit which is really lovely and i love the neutral tone of this and i really liked it on the model but i'm just not sure if it will suit me but we're gonna try it on together and see i thought it could work really nicely like tucked into my tailored trousers just to give the outfit a bit more structure rather than tucking it into jeans because it would be very 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 relaxed now i know you guys have been really intrigued to see me in a almost like polo style top like this and i know they're ever at the moment but i have to say i'm not loving it i feel like i'm a step away from being in indiana jones like all i need is the funny hat and a pair of boots and i am like good to go i think it's cute with the stone colored jeans from H&M. They work really nicely together. They're both that very neutral tone. I've got my and other stories sandals on. I do own these in nude and black, yes. But yeah, something about this just isn't working for me. Though this is the most lovely tone. Like I love this kind of little neutral tone of it. I think it's really sweet. I'm just not sure. But could it work with like a pair of blue shorts for the summer? Potentially, yes. I'm just really trying to keep the styling to the current UK weather, which is just a little bit of everything quite frankly yeah i'm just not sure on the whole like knitted polo shirt vibe though i do love a light knit and if this was in a jumper i would be 100 on it and keeping it for sure so that is it for my h&m versus mango haul i will pop my verdict of who is the winner of the two on screen just off the unboxing i think it could be h&m i feel more confident in those pieces however sometimes mango completely blows me away when i actually get the clothes on me but we will see i actually can't remember who won in the last one i'll link it if you want to go and watch it but that's going to be it from me today please do subscribe if you are new and you would like more videos like this i also do vlogs as well that have a little bit of a mix of like life beauty fashion everything in them as well as videos like this where i show you my whole order so definitely subscribe if you enjoy that kind of thing also don't forget to let me know who you think one out of the two brands in the comments below i would love to hear which pieces were your favorites which are like no's that i need to like send back just full disclosure i'm not keeping all of this i just really can't make decisions when online ordering so and um, this is how we got here but yeah let me know your favorites and your non-favorites in the comments i hope you're all having the best day and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye